Starting in three, two, one. Ah. Uh. Emergency landing. <laughs> All right, all right, you guys asked for it, we're gonna deliver. Today we have a giant foam F-18 with a real turbine engine in it. Thanks to the Navy for sponsoring this video. This is Sailor Versus, a series where other creators and I test our skills to see if we have what it takes to be in the Navy. They hooked me up with an aviation machinist mate, which gave me some tips and pointers on how to get this engine into this foam jet without setting it on fire. It is time to design the Super F-18 Hornet. I probably could spend some time in designs myself, however, other people are better at designing airplanes than I am, especially with the origami folding aspects. I've looked online and I found one by my friend Ben Harbour. He's an excellent designer and he designed this F-18 Hornet. The F-18 Hornet he designed is a lot smaller and this is a 180% blown up version of it. So if you look online, you can find these plans for free for a smaller version. We are gonna supersize it to make it carry this turbine in this video. A little interjection here. So you probably noticed the giant gash in my face. Well, we had an accident a few weeks ago. Fortunately, I was wearing safety glasses because, you know, safety first. Anyways, back to the video. Starting in three, two, one. Uh. I have some questions here. Luckily, I got someone on the other end of a video call. This is 81 Caleb DeFridis, an aviation machinist mate in the Navy. Hey, Caleb. Hey, Peter. So I got this turbine for my friend and I'm trying to get this thing mounted in my airplane. Now, unfortunately, I'm worried about like hot exhaust gases melting this thing because it's actually styrofoam. But I, I imagine it's probably similar to what you guys do with in the uh, Navy. How do you guys shield your airplanes to keep them from melting? That's a great question, Peter. So what we use in the Navy is a composite frame plus cool air from the fan to help bypass the engine and helps to keep it cool. What I think you can use is a layer of aluminum foil and cheesecloth, maybe two layers, and that should work just fine. Yeah, I think I will try that aluminum foil because I got all this backsplash in like the, the rear of the airplane where I think probably melt the back of my plane if I don't at least try to take care of that. What's your airframe made out of again? Uh, it's made out of foam and paper. Oh, that is definitely gonna <laughs> melt. It'll still fly around melting half of the airplane, but it'll be interesting to see. All right, we got our heat shield. Let's cut this thing up and make this thing hopefully not melt a hole in my airplane. I got our pie tins and uh, let's see how this works. So we got cheesecloth. I got a little bit of an air barrier there, so hopefully it doesn't get too hot below that and melt the foam. Let's go ahead and pop rivet this thing down and see if this works. So now that we know the details about the heat shield, I'm going to finish this thing up and get it installed. One thing about electronics is that we actually have a lot of them in this airplane. I'm gonna double check everything just to make sure the fail safes work and the radios are solid and the links are good to make sure we don't end up as a smoldering pile of rubble on the ground. Now it's time to load it up and get out to the field and do this. All right, we're at the field. We've actually got the engine running. It works and uh, that was horrifying. That's 180,000 RPMs of uh, turbine terror. The funny thing is uh, I've actually never messed with any sort of fuel in any RC airplane before. So it's quite a step to go from electrics straight up to turbine. About the uh, heat shield, looks like it's working. It didn't get too hot. Luckily the exhaust is mostly directly straight out of the back of the jet. We're gonna do one more quick check and then we're gonna be up in the air. Hey Peter, how'd that turbine test go? It gave us some hiccups to begin with, but once we got everything situated, the turbine now seems to reliably fire up and I think it should be good to go now. Cool, I hope that fall holds up and I can't wait to see it in the air. Uh, I hope this thing goes well too. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be pretty expensive if it does crash. Good luck on your flight, Peter. All right, uh, also before we fly it, we are gonna eventually put on that catapult truck over there. But first, I wanna make sure the plane flies okay. And that thing has a lot that can go wrong. Like you don't launch a plane off like an F-18 off the air carrier from the start, normally they take off some air base, I, I think they do at least, because it gives you more room for error. So having a long runway is beneficial to a short launch of the catapult, because something bad would happen, it would be very catastrophic. So we're gonna put on the sled first, that way I can get all the runway I need to take off, and the plane's gentle, then it gets in the air. Then after we test that flight, we'll put on the sled and launch it off there for like a, a real cat launch. All right, are you ready? I'm gonna start the engine. Wow, nice takeoff. Now we're good. Wow. Oh, it's so cool. 
Cool! It actually is a lot of thrust. He actually has good control. All right, rolling in three, two, one. Oh, there's the flame out. Emergency landing. <laughs> I think it looks good. The cameras are actually on that shot. I wanted to do a roll, but as soon as I did the roll, I think air picked up inside the fuel tank and it caused the engine to flame out. So the plane is on the ground, safe and sound. So let's go prepare for the cat launch next. The jet is on the cat. We're gonna give it a go and see what happens. There could be a number of things that goes wrong, such as in insufficient launch velocity, the launch could tear out the airplane, the airplane could flame out. But I guess we're just gonna go and send it now. Oh, not enough launch speed. <laughs> it wasn't enough throw. <laughs> oh no, oh no. All right, this thing is Definitely a little, a little bit beat up. We don't really have much more daylight, so we really won't be able to launch this thing again. Unfortunately, the flight speed of this F-18 model is too high that the catapult can't get it up to sufficient velocity. And also, the spool up time for the turbine is way too long. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to like end it there with the launcher saga. I'm glad the dolly cart it made work because this thing definitely needs some runway to get going. For the most part, I think it's a pretty good success. The turbine flew the airplane surprisingly really fast for such a small engine and the heat shield definitely did its job. Thanks again to the Navy for sponsoring this video, and thank you, AD1, Caleb DeFridis, for all your help and insight. No problem, Peter, anytime. Check out more Sailor Versus, where I'm gonna be working on a combustion module from a real fighter jet. I'm gonna be going head-to-head -head with the Navy, so I will see you over there.